With the fifth and final season of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous only a month away, I would like to talk about the many sequels of the beloved Jurassic Park and how they can never get it right. With each new sequel, they just keep getting worse and worse. The only sequel that actually did well was 2015's Jurassic World, but even that movie couldn't compare to the magic and wonder of the 1993 classic. The only reason these sequels exist is because of how much money they make, and the way Dominion is going money-wise, there's gonna be more sequels. This isn't the end. Anyways, in today's video, I'm here to talk about the Netflix series that takes place in the Jurassic universe known as Camp Cretaceous. This show is about a group of kids that travel to Isla Nublar after they were selected in a contest to go to a part of the park called Camp Cretaceous. Throughout the series, the kids have to survive all kinds of obstacles, such as a hyper-aggressive Carnotaurus, a terrifying hybrid called the Scorpius Rex, and an evil corporation called Manticorp who wants to take control over the dinosaurs. Somehow, this concept makes a lot more sense than what the live-action films gave us. In my opinion, I love this concept. This is how a Jurassic Park sequel should have been, especially with the Scorpius Rex and the mind control. Why couldn't this be a thing in the sequels? How can a cartoon made for kids make more sense than a live action movie? The difference between Camp Cretaceous and the live action sequels is that Camp Cretaceous is actually entertaining. Even though I know that none of the kids are gonna die, I still get very anxious and worried, and the kids do get hurt. Sammy almost died from the Scorpius Rex Venom, and we see the main characters get hurt in these situations. This is what a sequel should be all about. A sequel should be able to rise the stakes. Situations are supposed to be more dire with each sequel, and none of the live-action sequels gave us that with the main characters. Well, apart from Claire getting her foot impaled by the Indoraptor's claw, but that's about it. The campers in Camp Cretaceous are in situations where they could get hurt, and that's why I think that Camp Cretaceous is a Jurassic Park sequel done right.